A new survey has found that 96% of people who work on Wall Street dislike people who work on Wall Street. Finally, the 99% have something in common with Wall Street. Welcome to The Roast. The ACMA has handed down its decision in the Kyle Sanderlands case, but noted its difficulty in being able to regulate the celebrity rather than the station. ACMA chairman Chris Chapman said, We do not play the man, we play the ball. Though admitted in this case, it was often quite difficult to tell the difference. The French town of Montereau has announced plans to build an Apollyon-inspired theme park. The presumably pint-sized attraction will follow in the long and successful tradition of dictator-inspired theme parks such as Ho Chi Minh Golf, Coney Island and Disneyland. A dog in the UK has saved its own life by calling emergency services on the very phone that was choking it to death. Police rushed to the house after hearing heavy breathing, only to find the embarrassed pooch in the compromising position of his pants undone, a cord around his neck and trying to dial 1-800-BITCHES. And in related news, Dominic Strauss-Kahn has been released on bail after being charged with aggravated pimping. Aggravated pimping, of course, is the worst kind of pimping, coming right after pimping under the influence, pimping in a loading zone, pimping of one's ride, popping a pimple and snoop. GOP frontrunner and multi-millionaire Mitt Romney has plans to build a basement that's larger than his actual house and will even have individual elevators for his cars. Romney's butler Alfred said there was absolutely nothing suspicious about the cave-like expansion, but added his master could be reached for further comment by the usual means. And finally, an Austrian man has literally cut off his own foot to avoid having to go to his nation's version of Centrelink. The man said he had no regrets and was standing by his decision. Like this. Thanks for watching The Roast. I'd love to stay longer, but I'm needed elsewhere.